Every mission to space is a small step for mankind. But for John McFall to walk among the stars would be one giant leap. He's the first astronaut with a disability and the first declared mission ready to head to the International Space Station. We meet at the European Astronaut Center in Germany, where he's in training. I really hope that we are setting the foundations for uh, a revolution. John lost his right leg in a motorcycle accident in Thailand at age 19. It was a realization that, listen, if things are going to happen, if you're going to get through this, it's solely my responsibility to open those doors, walk through those doors, seize those opportunities. Opportunities he seized, first as a Paralympic sprinter, winning a bronze medal in the 2008 Beijing Games, then medical school and qualifying as an orthopedic surgeon. But the next opportunity came almost out of nowhere, a friend forwarding him an ad from the European Space Agency. They were also looking for someone with a physical disability to go through the application process with the overarching goal of clearing the path to space for a professional astronaut with a physical disability. What followed was a year and a half of intensive study and training on Earth, underwater, and in zero gravity. Before authorities were satisfied, there was no medical or technical reason why John couldn't head to the space station on a mission of six months or more. Wow. Welcome so to the International Space Station. This could be home sweet home for you. Yeah, potentially. That would be cool, huh? Days spent working on science experiments and nights sleeping in a cubby like this. And you'll hear that noise as I take it off the wall. That's because it's, it's got Velcro on it. Oh, to keep you from just yeah, floating away while exactly. you're sleeping? Yeah, yeah. John would likely use three versions of his prosthetic in space. One like this for everyday tasks, another for the hours of exercise astronauts need to do to avoid muscle wastage, and a third for blast off and landing. Here we go. And when John invited us into a virtual reality space station for a game of catch, hey. <laughs> it seemed rude to say no. Do you believe in aliens, John? Ah, I... <laughs> is, that, is that a longer conversation? That's for... a longer conversation. All right, here we go. Preparing for a mission that would break boundaries and inspire back home. What do you think it'll mean to a kid back down on Earth who has one leg to see someone like them up in space? Yeah, and this is a beautiful um, uh, trickle-down effect of, of what we do, isn't it? And I think, or I hope that that, that kid would look at what we are doing and saying, well, listen, I can do what I want to do. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit? But actually... Space is the limit? <laughs> <laughs> now, John is still waiting to find out when exactly he might blast off to space, but he could be assigned a mission early next year. As for the International Space Station, it's currently due to be decommissioned in 2030, but it's possible its lifespan could be extended. Tom. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.